The other thing that's uh, interesting on this is the availability of, in the equalization section, uh, the possibility of choosing between precise, aggressive, smooth and legacy versions of equalizers. Now, these are just names, but well, aggressive being uh, Yamaha's version of a model of what we would call British EQ. And um, surprisingly enough, I kind of like British EQ. Uh, I'm used to it, it sounds musical to me. Aggressive, I think it's a funny word for, uh, for it, but nonetheless, it's, it, it sounds excellent. Um, perhaps on, uh, on, on the other precise EQ, maybe uh, more something that you would uh, use on a keyboard maybe, or uh, maybe a horn. Um, Either way, it's good to actually set your equalization and then select between them because once you've set your EQ, let's say in precise, you can choose to listen to it in aggressive, you can choose to listen to it in smooth and uh, choose the one that you think is right. Um, not just a matter of following what the words try to describe, but uh, what you hear which is really the important part of what we do, is we're not mixing to the screens, we're mixing to what we hear. Um, but I think the main thing is that after spending my first day on this console mixing that many bands and for that length of time, I gotta say it was a lot of fun. And, and I think fun is, where it's at because if you're not having fun you shouldn't be doing this <laughs>